hi guys welcome and welcome all to my channel um please like comment and of course subscribe on this video i just want to talk about and just go through halima um hijab story that she posted on instagram and the reason that i found this um story interesting is that she did say that she is a minority within a minority within a minority and i found that as black women we do experience being a minority and we need to as people in the world actually we need to understand a person who's different from you is not um socially low lower than you or underneath you that you have to accept and tolerate you just need to know that they're different and we need to embrace each other so as a south african girl um black girl there were not a lot of muslims in my area but the few girls that went to a school neighboring my school were like different like we didn't understand why they were covering their hair and wearing the long school uniform and we already ha always had the assumption that uh, mind you we were in primary school and we assumed that children in primary school were married we thought that they were married that's why they were covering their hair because in our culture um when you get married usually they'll say um just cover your hair and wear longer skirts so as the parents of the next generation we need to educate our children about all the different people that we exposed to and not let them make assumptions and by them making all these assumptions it's creating bullies in the schools and it's also creating low self esteem for those um children who are quote unquote different so i really really enjoyed um halima's um hijab story on instagram i did learn a bit from her stories so that's why i want to share them on my channel so for those who don't know who halima aden is she's a, a somalian american fashion model right she is noted for being the first woman to wear a hijab in the miss minnesota usa pageant where she was a semi-finalist following her participation in the pageant halima rece received a national attention and was signed by img models she was also the first model to wear a hijab and a birkin in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. So this um, lady is an international modi, um, model. Sorry, she is beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. And I think I was exposed to her when she did. Um, a video with Jackie Aina on, on her <clears throat> on Jackie Aina's um um channel. So I, I have seen her around, but I don't know who she is. So when I saw her on that video, then I did a bit of research, checking her page on Instagram. Then that's how I followed her, and I really really enjoyed her because she's very fashionable, and she's just like a normal person at, at her age. You understand that. 23 years she's like a normal 23 year old who happens to be not um christian like i am but she's gorgeous so let me um just read what she has written on her instagram and maybe it can help um someone who wants to be a model or someone who wants to be quote-unquote accepted in a specific um s setting or a specific for a specific job for a specific school a group of friends that you definitely don't want to lose yourself and you definitely don't want to whitewash yourself 
and make yourself palatable to people who are different from you so let's get it started so it goes a little something like this y'all <laughs> well as i've said many times being a minority inside of a minority inside of a minority is never easy being a hijabi is truly a journey with lots of highs and lows with that said, my Hoyo Machan, that mother in brackets, pleading with me for years to open my eyes. Thanks to COVID and the breakaway from the industry, I have finally realized where I went wrong in my personal hijab journey. This is the hijab I grew up wearing. 17 long years. Mashallah, and I wouldn't change it for the world. But ironically, I would go on to do just that. Change it for the world. So she puts a meme of a Beyonce looking kind of pissed. <laughs> when Rih Rihanna dyed her hair red in 2010 and all the girls followed suit. But I just had to just buy a red hijab. I was fuming. <laughs> I actually started the red hijab trend in middle school for that very reason. Do I regret it? No, because Ri was always an icon for us little hijabis in Minnesota. Not gonna lie. So keep in mind, I grew up in Minnesota after fleeing Kenya. Had amazing teachers like Mrs. Sauter but was also bullied by a bunch of little white kids for simply wearing a hijab. Honestly, looking back now, those kids were just shook. Imagine little Johnny coming for me for speaking with an accent when he could barely speak one language. <laughs> and I was speaking my third, girl. <laughs> But I didn't have that confidence back then, so I just went home and cried. Might have called him a couple not so nice words in Somali. Not to mention, I've always secretly resented the fact that the older Somali generations got to experience this, and I felt completely robbed of this experience. I felt like I missed out on my own culture and I was too young to understand what happened to what happened to change this so she just posted a picture of the Somali culture and it's pretty very beautiful hi Lima this is for you Muslim girls can nonetheless it was my sisters who helped me get over the hard patches and bullying we had each other and that's was all that matters when i tell you i used to be painfully shy never raised my hand never said a peek most definitely from those kids traumatizing me with the relentless bullying uh, like why do why are kids so cruel like why uh, when i think about my primary school days it was awful kids are really really cruel and then she goes on to say what a literal queen so i'm assuming that's her mother i don't want to butcher her name i think it's rukai admit adin my mom asked me to quit modeling a long time ago i wish i wasn't so defensive sis was literally the only person who had the purest intentions for me the advice she gave me was dean over dunya and her stance has never once changed so uh, let me check what does um the words mean din is an arabic word with three general senses judgment custom and religion it is used by both arabic muslims and christians in Is islam the word refers to the way of life muslims must adopt to comply with the divine law encompassing beliefs character and deed oh, okay it makes sense let's check out what dunya means in islam dunya refers to the temporal world and its earthly concerns and possessions 
as opposed to the hereafter. So in the Quran, dunya and akira are sometimes used um, dichotomously, other times complementary. Islam does not prior dismisses the word as evil. Okay, okay, I'm learning a thing or two and I hope you guys are also learning. Also honorable mention since we are doing a proper story night. Um, squad since second grade. These queens were my day one since, well, day one. My hijab journey was the strongest when I was surrounded by my sisters. That's a theme I'm just now discovering myself. So she says, shout out to the Makeup Forever app, y'all. I discovered her in high school and it's safe to say I definitely abused the tool. Love my ass off. Just don't zoom in. <laughs> so she's saying, period, period, poo. My hijab was on point when I was surrounded by my Somali culture. I met a couple of sisters. Heck, it was on point here too because of, I still knew who I was. I wish I never stopped bringing my black hijab to set because the minute I got comfortable, well, let's say, just say I got too carried away. Look at her hijab. Mashallah is so beautiful like the one I used to wear. And look at the representation I gave to her. Deep down, sis can't relate. Honestly, same goes for me. I used this to justify a lot. As if we ever needed these brands to represent hijabis. They need us, never the other way around. But I was just so desperate back then for any representation that I lost touch with who I was. The denim hijab, which looks very beautiful to me. <sighs> but this isn't even my style, never was. Why did I allow them to put jeans on my head? When at the time I had only ever worn skirts and long pants. Yes, the, this was not cool. Not cool at all. I went back to my hotel room and I just sobbed after the shoot because deep down I knew this wasn't it. But I was too scared to speak up. I also very common struggle when you are the first to do something. Like, what are the hideous green grass things on my head? Cha. <laughs> I can only blame myself for caring more about the opportunity than what was actually at stake. I blame myself for being naive and rebellious. What I do blame the industry for the lack of Muslim women stylists. The fashion industry needs a big big change in terms of represent representation when it comes to black women um muslim women um plus size women like the whole lot even transgender women the fashion industry needs to stop being ignorant and start reading books or even google actually go on google and hear and read what people are saying about the industry that you work in the industry that you are managing try to change the narrative even copy rihanna for that fact it's a compliment by copying her it's not a bad thing fashion industry anyways <laughs> Back to her story but we gotta admit they also did give us some fire looks before this i never thought to layer things i should have just politely declined this because where is the hijab sis not every shoot is for hijab fully clothed yes but what is even happening just no after going to to my first big red ca carpet event, I remember suddenly wanting to change myself. 
laughing my ass off. How crazy, considering it was an event that brought together so many incredible women. But now I know it was because I was the only one in that space. I don't remember seeing others who dressed like me. Can you imagine being in such a, a space where you, there's no one you can relate to? Nobody you can freely talk to. Nobody who looks like you. Like, America, do better, please. So somebody wrote on Twitter, Sometimes I want to fight Halima Eden's stylist. Sis, the stylist was me. So, ouch. Then guess what? Prepare for your edges to be snatched. Follow Muslim sisters who send me DMs and even publicly tag me at the start of my career to stop dressing like an old woman. Be more darling. Come on, sis. Show them what a modern hijab is looks like. Which made me feel like I was doing something wrong, like I was failing y'all. Shame, man. So I took what y'all said to heart and probably misinterpreted it as well. I remember wanting to be the hot hijabi as if that didn't just defeat the whole purpose. A hot mess is what it truly was. Looking back now, I did what I said I would never do, which is compromise who I am in order to fit in. Thank you, Hoyo, for never giving up on me. If I continue down this path, I would definitely lose my hijabi completely. Whew, child. The confusion was real on this day. I fought my entire team to wear this look and even Dennis was like, this isn't the real you. That's how rebellious I was feeling at the time. The pressure was getting unbearable and I'm sad to say I went through a period of resenting the hijabi. Oh no. Oh no. One would be so um, excited to be on the cover of Vogue. And she wrote, I had to delete this off my page because honestly, this wasn't representation. This was mockery. And I am so sorry. I was too young and naive to see it back then. But at the time, I justified it because look, it's Vogue Arabia. What's wrong is wrong no matter how hard you try to convince yourself. Also, never again taking a job that will require me to change my scarf style just to show off a necklace. I'm a hijabi wearing woman. I can wear rings and braces, but what do I need a necklace for? I really thought, damn, I did that. For even rea realizing how much I was hurting the little hijabi. I used to be by now shopping the world a new standard for hijab that they could be comfortable with. Essentially erasing my hijabi completely. That caption should have read boo boo the clown chair. Yeah. The amount of times I am um, wash it over my head. Definitely not a cool um caption. Just no 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 throw away the whole shoot, just creepy looking and not me. So let's spread a positive message about beauty and diversity. So Love this look for me. I was just so happy to participate at the time, but what I should have said was go back to the drawing board. Where's my scarf? The one that covers my chest. Denise has been with me since day one of my career, and looking back, six really had my back always. She tried to talk to me. Took me out of so many looks, but I was too busy trying to look cute and feel accepted. Her face says it all, and she didn't need to be a Muslim woman to remind me to get it together. I love Karin to death, but yeah, this should have been a no to no. And I love, love this look. I don't know, maybe because yellow is one of my favorite colors, and it's just popping i love the silk i love the eyeshadow oh my god it's beautiful um yes we came to play img models the real me <laughs> and she's so beautiful with her braces and i started off so strong but no worries i'm coming back girl 
I should have walked off set because clearly the stylist didn't have a hijabi wearing woman in mind. What was the reason for this shoot? Generally, never playing myself ever again. More of this. Halima, what was the reason? But honestly, I'm glad I went through all the confusion because now I can warn you guys about where I went, went right and where I made the wrong turn. This is where I went. Sorry about that, guys. My um, laptop actually just switched off. Anyways, let's continue. This is what happens when you don't stand in your values. Ten toes down. Slowly start to compromising. Did y'all know before 2016 I never cared for heels? Why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs> right, this is where I went right. Getting to meet other fellow, fellow hijabis doing remarkable things and breaking stereotypes. Sharing my story and being a fearless Yes, this was a proud moment for me. Shout out to the queen, Miss Katie Corrick. And yes, I'm still going to look cute just in my own unique way. Oh, I love this for her. But sis, what caption don't match your actions, Halima 2020? And the caption was, why blend in when you were made to stand out? The truth is I was very uncomfortable. This just ain't me and the scarf is so 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 ugly oh my god i don't know i don't know if it's the yellow dress or but i really don't like it and then but i cannot understand why i did end up compromising no matter what i or anyone else has preached to you about the industry it ain't for you it us never was so go in knowing that and knowing you my mom said, go correct it. You were good and blessed before fashion. They came to you. What are you scared of? Correct the mistake you made publicly. Publicly. I never felt more free and relieved. God damn, Somali moms are so stubborn. Like why she waited all these years to say that. But also thank you, COVID, because being home with her has put back so much in perspective i'm not rushing back to fashion so striving for home ownership for education for equal opportunities for your iman but learn from my mistakes if you don't feel right sis walk away members of the fact hmu and i'll pull up my damn scale i had to make those mistakes to be the role model you can all trust Remember, I had no one before me paving the way, so mistakes are part of the learning experience. I did good, but that isn't enough. We gotta have these conversations in order to change the system truly. Diversity way, I was too afraid to ask back then, but not today, Satan. Plus, bring back the smiles because y'all made us look like half dead, so less crumblings. <laughs> And then she says, that's the end of the story time. Are you mad? Stay mad. Are you offended? Not my problem. Are you inspired? You should. Bye. If my hijab can't be this visible, I'm not showing up. Period. Poo. And more of this, I was in the wrong part of the fashion industry. But I'm glad to know it's not just runway shows and editorials. There's so many brands today that are giving back and making real change. When I tell you I was trying to live my best of both was as if I was um, Hannah Montana. Like, can we just have one Disney hijabi princess already or must I get my notebook and write the script myself? Like, really, why? Hollywood, why? And probably there is actually a story. It's just that it's not um in the popular channels or just pushed by the big popular channels such as disney i'm assuming there should be one halima they're up so fast auntie loves it and never skipping my prayer time fashion can wait 
my dean cannot cancel me who can cancel me i'm buying ad gracefully <laughs> oh lord this is the standard moving forward if you if you want to work with me come correct or don't come at all yes girl yes i love the energy all the people that were cheering on Halima Dean in the modeling industry are suddenly quiet now that she rectified and admitted her mistakes. Then she answered, let them stay quiet. Let them be uncomfortable like I have been for a while now. It wasn't a heavy burden they had to endure for the past four years. Fashion loves to use and discard humans as if they are disposable before it ever got to that point, Ala opened my eyes and I refused. Mashallah, I had beautiful skin. Why the need for all this heavy makeup never gained for me personally. This was my first ever fashion campaign and it was thanks to bad girl Riri. Sis, let me wear the hijab I bought to set. This is the girl I'm returning to. The real Halima. Oh man. So somebody posted, I feel some type of way about how non black Muslims are talking about Halima. She is an actual person and a very young one at that. So Halima responded, Let me boil your pressure some more. A lot of Arabic folks have deep internalized hatred for black Muslims. People think the slave trade aid ended when it's still well and alive in many, many North African countries. Now I'm really doing the Lord's work by calling it for what it is. Real Muslims don't have superiority complex. Get rid of that hate. I she said what she said. And you race of people, stop it. It's not cool. Then um, somebody posted, please don't take advice from your mom. She's not educated. You just stopped your own bag. You could have built your... Like, what in the hell? Well, people have, like, the balls to say that. <laughs> Then she responded, wow, I really clocked out of one job and found my dream job. Okay, so let's use this as a learning moment. I'm not going to get defensive because this was actually me once. I'm going to save you all the rent, but basically I've come to learn that we've been taught in the society to operate from a place of scarcity. When Islam has actually placed the mother at the number one slot, real MVP, the society has dropped us all the same way, but let's practice viewing life from a place of abundance. My mom telling me to walk away regardless of the bag is the me messaging the youth today have somehow missed. My mom is a warrior. She is a professor of life. A goddamn CEO and I'm not talking about them greedy old men outdated definition of CEO. She's the chief executive officer of her iman. She said no worldly things and yes to securing her peace and mind and ultimately inner peace so so I, I don't understand why would someone say that about somebody's parent like what unsolicited advice is not welcomed anyway you don't want to be telling people things they don't ask so if somebody has made a decision about their life about their life we need to respect them so what i'm gonna say to halima i'm wishing her all the blessings that she doesn't even think of or she thinks that they are out of her reach by taking this step she might be upsetting the whole lot at the fashion industry and all those white people in the fashion industry but in that way she's going through a breakthrough her life will be changed completely and she'll get more opportunities and she can even do her thing on her own she can even open her own modeling agency why not so i wish her all the best 
and thank you thank you Hanima for sharing your story it is motivating me I know I'm not Muslim but it is motivating me in a different way than you can ever understand so guys please like comment and subscribe to my YouTube video and I'll see you on my next upload bye